This question asks us to solve the following second order equation. I have y double prime minus y equals u sub 1 of t. So the step function at t equals 1. And I'm given initial conditions y of 0 equals 2 and y prime of 0 equals 0. So to solve this, I'm going to use Laplace transforms. I just want to take the Laplace transform of each term in the equation. So let's start with y double prime. And let's recall that the Laplace transform of a second derivative of a function is s squared f of s, where f is just the Laplace transform of the parent function, minus s times uh, the parent function at 0, minus the first derivative at 0. So here I'm going to have s squared f of s minus 2s minus 0. Okay, and then the Laplace transform of y is just going to be f of s. And now I just need to take the Laplace transform of this step function. And I've written down its general Laplace transform on the board. So the Laplace transform of u sub a of t, u of t minus a, equals e to the negative a s over s. So here I just need to identify my a, and it's going to be 1. So it's the Laplace transform of this step function is going to be e to the negative s over s. OK, so now let's go ahead and put all these things back into the original equation. So I have the Laplace transform of y double prime, s squared f of s minus 2s minus the Laplace transform of y f of s equals e to the negative s over s, the Laplace transform of that step function. Now I need to solve for f of s. So the first thing I'm going to do is put that 2s onto the other side and add, to, add 2s to both sides. And now I can factor out an f of s from this side of the equation. So I'm going to get f of s times s squared minus 1. And then to solve for f of s, I just want to divide both sides of the equation by s squared minus 1. And from here, I just want to evaluate term by term. So for my first term here, the denominator is s times quantity s squared minus 1. So I'm going to need to use partial fractions to separate that into two fractions that I can take the inverse Laplace transform of. My second term, however, is pretty much good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and take the inverse Laplace transform of that and then work on this term and add them together. So here, excuse me, this should be a minus. So this looks like the Laplace, inverse Laplace transform of hyperbolic cosine of t. And then I'm just going to move that too. So its inverse Laplace transform is going to be 2 cosh of t. OK, now I'm going to move to the other board to separate this using partial fractions. So I'm going to go ahead and factor out that e to the negative s, because I'm going to use that when I take the inverse Laplace transform, probably dealing with that step function again. That leaves a 1 in the numerator. So I want to separate it into two fractions, the first being a over s, where s is just, excuse me, where a is just some constant, plus something over s squared minus 1. Well, since I have the second power of s in the denominator here, I need s to be in the numerator. So I'm going to choose bs plus c, where b and c are any real constants. And now let's find a common denominator on this side so I can solve for a, b, and c. I'm going to eliminate the e to the negative s's for now, and let's just remember we need to add them back in later.
So here I'm going to cross multiply. So A times quantity S squared minus 1 plus S times BS plus C. And now I have that same common denominator I have on the other side. And I'm going to go and eliminate the denominator from both sides. And distribute. So I'm going to get AS squared minus A for the first term and BS squared plus CS for my second term. And I want this to all equal 1. So I only have one term on this side that's not a product of S, and that is negative A. So that means negative A has to equal 1, and A equals negative 1. And then that also means that my coefficient for S squared, which is A plus B if I'm combining terms, has to equal 0 since I don't have an S squared term on this side of the equation. Well, I know A equals negative 1. And that leaves b to equal 1. Now the only term I'm left with is cs. And I know that coefficient has to be 0. I'm not looking at any other products of just s. So c has to equal 0. And now I'm going to head over here and rewrite that fraction. So bring that e to the negative s back in, and now I am looking at negative 1 over s plus s over s squared minus 1. Yes. And so I know this whole thing is going to be multiplied by a step function, a u sub 1 of t. And negative 1 over s is pretty easy, that's just going to be negative 1. I don't need to worry about changing it because of the step function, since it's just a constant and not a multiple of t. Now for s over s squared minus 1, again, that's hyperbolic cosine. And instead of being just cosh of t, it's going to be that of t minus 1. All right, so... This is a little bit messy, but it is our answer. I've got a step function at t equals 1 times quantity hyperbolic cosine of t minus 1 minus 1 plus 2 hyperbolic cosine of t. And that's our final answer.